actually on time. It's one o'clock Eastern. Heather Boyd Wire here and it's Wire Lady TV happening every Wednesday at 1 p.m. Eastern time. I'm here in Montreal. Let me know in the comments where you guys are watching from and uh, yeah, it was a beautiful day. Sun just went behind the clouds but it's all good. It's getting warmer and uh, keeping really busy here. So I have a lot going on in the next uh, couple of weeks. I want to get you guys uh, feedback a little bit too uh, because I'm going to be starting another challenge. Uh, if you haven't already done the online challenges, we, um, we've done two so far. So I did the uh, ring making challenge, 10 day ring making challenge, which was a lot of fun. And, uh, and then we did a, what did we do after that? The 10 day pendant making challenge which we've sort of expanded and uh, in the Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club and uh, I'm still posting prompts for people to make pendants or other things based on the uh, on the prompts. Hey Clarice, how are you? So yeah, if you're not already a member of the uh, Wire Art and Jewelry Makers Club on Facebook, be sure to join and we're having another challenge coming up soon. Hey Peggy, nice to see you. And I really need your guys feedback because I, um, I've had some people say that they're actually running out of wire because of all the stores being closed. Some places aren't shipping wire. I know there, there certainly are some, a lot of companies that are still shipping. Sometimes shipping can be delayed. So I really would like to know in the comments if you want me, if you guys want me to go ahead with the next challenge or wait, uh, hold off a little bit until the, um, until people can get some more supplies. So I have a couple of uh, alternatives of what we can do. I'm going to keep posting some prompts in the Facebook group so people have uh, a project to work on every day. Uh, there's been some really cool things happening there. So there were uh, 30 days of pendants and now uh, people can post uh, any anything they want based on the theme. Uh, if it's made out of wire, post it in the group as it's an individual post. And if you've run out of wire, you could make something else creative, but just post it as a comment in the prompt post, so we don't have all kinds of other random crafts uh, showing up in the uh, in the in the club. So that would be awesome. And so the next challenge is actually going to be a ten day uh, earrings that sell challenge. So I'm going to be doing. Oh, I'm missing a bunch of comments here. So Susan, hey Judy, hey Ken, how are you? I'm gonna have to go back and check the comments. Let me just check on the because I think, Peggy, did you say something, a little feedback about the thing? Let me just see. Uh, da, 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 da. I'm going to check the comments and see what you guys are saying. Do a poll. Yes, I was thinking to do a poll in the group. So I'll definitely do that and see what's going on. Hey, Mia, how are you? And yeah, so the next challenge is going to be a 10-day uh, earrings that sell challenge. Hey, Amber, because I know a lot of you sell your jewelry. So these are going to be designs that um, are going to appeal to people to sell to craft shows, to sell online, and not too difficult to make. So that's going to be super fun. Hey, Wendy, you set your alarm. Awesome. That's fantastic. Cool. And uh, so today what I'm going to do is I'm going to just troubleshoot some names out of wire. I thought that would be super fun to do. Actually, that's today's prompt in the Facebook group is um, either write your name in wire or create something that starts with the first letter of your name. Uh, uh, if you don't have wire, you can make other things too. And like I said, post in the comments of the post. If you've made something out of wire, post it as, as its own post in the group. So this was inspired by Debbie because she had asked me to do her name out of wire, which I did. And um, she, uh, she, so she had a special request for that. So I thought, oh, if anyone else has requests for names, I'm going to do them as well. So I almost made my name last night, but I made, uh, I made one for my friend Eva. Cool. That's awesome. Yeah, the names are really fun to do. And uh, so I'm just looking at all the comments here. And Susan says, "Hey, hey, Susan, how are you? So why don't we uh, why don't we go ahead and flip the screen around and uh, do some names? Uh, how do you post a comment that's not in the group? Uh, well, this is I mean, what I mean by that is to if you're posting something that's not wire, you can you could just comment on my prompt post and put a picture of what you're working on. But um, uh, I think, I'm not sure if that's what you mean, but just um, there's not really another group other than what's going on. There will be another event page for the earring making challenge coming up. And uh, I don't know what the consensus here is for that. Like I was thinking of possible dates. I was thinking to start 
the earring challenge either April 7th, uh, 16th, May 1st, or uh, put it off altogether until things are back to normal. So I'll try to get a consensus in the group to see what people want to do for that. And uh, we'll go from there. So what I'm going to do, I have trouble with the letter P. Yeah, there's so many different ways to do letters. Um, mine tend to be a little bit stiff because uh, it's just the nature of how I do the letters when I when I do personalized, like we, we make these little bicycles and I put names in the front wheel. Usually it's for a cake topper. So I put the bride and the groom's name uh, going from P to E. Okay, so let me just write this down and I'm gonna see if I, I can start with that. Many shops have stopped mailing. That's the problem. That's what I was thinking that there's probably a, a lot of shops that have stopped uh, mailing wire, which is really unfortunate. The only other alternative I thought is, um, I know Walmart uh, ships, I don't know if they're actually shipping, uh, not ships, but they deliver locally, like our local Walmart delivers, but I don't know if they deliver a wire. They might just deliver uh, groceries. It was um, uh, my daughter's friend that she gets her groceries delivered from Walmart. So I don't know if there's anything like that. I mean, I guess in the worst case, maybe if there's a pharmacy open that sells utility wire just to practice, that's a possibility too. So, so oh, we're in dismissing this capital P and lowercase e in Peggy, yes. Okay, so let's just, we can we could definitely do that one. And I did have a couple other requests on, in the, um, on YouTube, but I'll have to find what they are. I'm just going to look up some cursive letters just on uh, Google just to see if we have something to go with. So cursive alphabet, and then we'll just go from there. I'll get some images, and um, there's many different ways to, th to do things. So I'll just, yeah, some of them aren't as nice looking at as others, but let me just go, I'm just going to go and see if there's some nice looking ones. Just to have an idea. I mean, I'm just going to mostly go from my imagination and I've done a lot of them as well. So let me flip the screen around and we'll just get started. So we're going to just flip. There we go. Perfect. Good. And okay. So my Walmart is bare and has a minimum of 40. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I actually, I haven't been to Walmart for weeks, so I don't really know. So if anybody has any tips on where uh, people can buy wire that are shipping, just let, let us know in the comments for sure. We have a curbside online purchasing, so we order online and go to the store and they give it to us at the store. Oh, that's smart. That's a really good idea. Yeah, I like that idea. And you know what I was even, I had even suggested in the Facebook group is you could go on Facebook Marketplace, para wire, wire ships. Okay, cool. And uh, you could go on Facebook Marketplace and ask if, or search, or ask if anybody is selling wire or jewelry supplies. And you could, if there's someone locally that you know, you could always do get them to drop the, it off at your doorstep, or you can pick it up and either e-transfer the money or, uh, or something like that. So I'm sure there are ways to get around it. Michael's, Sorry, Michaels does curbside. Okay, Michaels. Oh, really? Oh, that's brilliant. That's a really great idea. I didn't think about Michaels, and they have tons of wire. That's great. Rio Grande order will be arriving soon. Okay, cool. So there are still th people that are shipping and Amazon. Awesome. Okay, great suggestions, guys. So we'll just... Um, Maybe I'll make a list of all these and put them in the Facebook group so people know. They have thick wire and DIY section, need to have muscles like Samson. Yeah, yeah, true. You want to be sure to get the soft wire. So for this one, I'm going to work with the artistic wire. Uh, I'll start some with the copper wire, and then I'll also uh, try some different ones as well. But I just want to have your guys' opinion if it's better for me to work on a light surface or on a dark surface. Is it going to be easier to see what I'm doing on the dark surface or on the light surface? Just let me know which you prefer and I'll um, I'll do that. So just light or dark, just let me know in the comments and then I'll get going and, and work with that. And I have some thicker wire that are easier on dark. Dark's good. Awesome. Okay, so let's do the dark. Just going to bring this down here. Perfect. Okay, let's try this. So I'll cut a piece of wire. We're going to cut a piece. I'm just going to make sure this is up high enough so we can see. And I'll cut a piece that's, I don't know, I usually start with about a foot long to be sure. It's better to cut it too long than too short. 
And I'll try with different wires to show you the difference. So here's, it's a 20 gauge artistic copper wire. It's quite soft. Um, it's almost like a little bit too thin, but that's okay. I just got to keep my iPod cord out of the way so it's not distracting. So what we're going to do, I see there's some light showing here. Rihanna, okay, it's, n hi Heather, it's non face. it's from non-Facebook. Um, I'm not quite sure what you mean. Is that about making comments? I've got a little lost in the comments here. Just, Rihanna, just let me know what you mean. Hey, Lisa. Hey, Robin. How are you? We're just going to do some letters here. So let's start with, this cord is really getting in my way. So let me just, you know what I'm going to do is I'm just going to attach this cord because my extension cord is getting in my way. So I'm just going to attach this out of the way with a wire. You can't see what I'm doing, but I'm just moving a cord out of the way. Okay, so let's do Lori says, oh my gosh, finally catching you live. Yay! Awesome. Thanks for hopping on. I mean, my name is not on your... Oh, okay, on your Facebook group. Oh, okay. Is that... That's your Facebook name? N-O-N-O-N? Okay, so I'm going to write that down because I have trouble sometimes keeping track of people's usernames. So that's awesome. Okay, so let us do a name. So... For Peggy and like I said my my lettering style isn't as like beautiful as some uh, lettering styles mine tends to be a little bit stiff but I'm gonna try to make it a little more stylized uh, so you guys can see uh, what I mean so let me just I'm just gonna look for the image of the um, a P cursive P uh, da, da, da. Sometimes you could even look up in Google, uh, if you could look up your name and wire, you can sometimes find it. Like, like if you go on Google and you just look up like your name and wire, then you can see one that there's Peggy right there. So you could definitely see stuff like that. I wouldn't do it exactly like that, but there's, you know, just to get an idea or just put a P cursive P in wire. You could you could definitely do that too, but there's there's many different ways to do it, and I think I'm just gonna use my intuition and see what I can do. So if we just start like just start at the beginning, okay, and then we're just gonna go around here, and you can make it as stylized as you want. So say I'm gonna do it more stylized. You want to do loop de loops and stuff like that. Yeah, I c copied several styles of alphabet and made what worked for me exactly so you just have to really do what works well for you and uh it really it really varies like i don't usually do it uh stylized like this but just for the sake of trying something new i'll try something a little bit more stylized to see how it goes and then what you would have to do is bring maybe bring this one to the back okay if we brought that one to the back and bring this down and then the idea is like yeah how do you get an e to look decent right um name a wire wiry times d i'm not sure thank you amber that's am yeah Lori is <laughs> so people's username are different than their actual name so Lori, that's amber yeah and even me i have a lot of trouble keeping track of people's usernames because there's so many people that have different usernames. Now there's different ways to do the E's. I've done it where I've like done a little jog and gone around, or I've done it just like uh, like a regular E. Like, let me just show you in the Debbie. So in the Debbie, see how I just did like really a loop and down. So, but for this one, I'm gonna show you another way that I do it just to make it a little bit more looking like an E, is I actually take this and push it out a bit and then bring it around. And that just gives it a little bit of an impression of going out like that. So we're gonna go around here and then we're going to, so that's basically the the uh, E like that. And the thing is, how do you transition to the next letter? So depending on what the next letter is, sometimes I'll go, like say it's an L, I would go right into the next letter. But because it's a G, 
sometimes what I'll do is I'll just take this and give it another little jog down just to differentiate the E from the from the next letter. Like say it's a G or a B or a D or something with a circle, I would do that. So, so I'm gonna get the next pliers. Here is the other round pliers. So far so good. Heather's a life saver. <laughs> Stop me from losing my mind. Oh well, I'm so happy to be to be of uh, of service because uh, you guys keep me sane as well. I have so much fun in the group, and everybody is so inspiring and and uh, motivational and supporting each other. I love it. So, so here's see we've done the E. It's differentiated now from this. Is going to be the G. The G I could do a little bit bigger, but I'm a little worried I'm going to run out of wire. We'll fix up the P after. So for the G, basically what I would do is I would bring it up. Okay, I'm gonna show you this way. So from here, you could do a D, you could do the A. If you're gonna do the A, the A and the G are more or less the same because what you wanna do is turn it back on itself. So what I would do is hold this here and then just bend it. Oh, you know what? I might have to help it a bit. So if I get this here, Okay, and then just bend it a bit on top of itself here. Sometimes the wire needs a little help with the with the with the pliers. So already we're getting towards the G, and then we're going to bring this one around. Oh, I really hope I don't run out of wire. Okay, so there's the G here. Looking looking pretty good so far. So so oh transform art so that's my friend Aranza is is on she's from montreal as well and she's an artist we did a we did a collab a while back Aranza, how's your youtube channel going i know you're doing a lot of facebook lives that's super cool and galen awesome hey galen nice so let's bring this one around here i'm really worried i'm gonna run out of wire now so this might be it might get smaller as we go so we're going to just bring this around i probably should have cut 15 inches instead of uh, instead of 12 or I should have started you know closer to that end so here's another G I'm working on it you're my inspiration awesome well your your live videos are wonderful around so I love how you're doing daily uh, uh, art projects and accessible projects that are easy to do so that's really cool um, maybe Aransa you can I can link up some of your stuff uh, or you can link it up in the comments so people can see what you're doing too because that stuff's super cool so here's two G's and then the Y as you can see my style is very I find it a little bit stiff uh, it's not as loose as some uh, some people doing wire art but uh, it's just tends to be the way I work in general. I'm, I'm trained as a graphic artist, so a lot of what I do is very uh, graphic and very straight lines and stuff. And as you can see, my letters are getting smaller only because I'm running out of wire. <laughs> so sorry about that, but this will give you an idea. So here's the Y. Um, I can post my P later in the group. Yes, awesome, fantastic. Yeah, post pictures of your of your wire letters in the group. Today's the day because that's the theme and it would be great to compare everybody's style to see what they're doing. So Peggy, here's your name so far. Now it's just a matter of figuring out what to do with this little end here. And I know some people like go down and do another little loop for the P. I think there's different ways you can do it, but I think I would just go across here to keep it simple. It's pretty, yeah, it's not too bad, eh? Like, normally I wouldn't have done that loop there. I only did it just to try something different. I'm not 100% sure if I like it or not. But like I said, my style of lettering is pretty stiff, but it just gives you an idea of how to do, like, the actual technique. But there are other ways that you could do the, um, the P. So let me get some more wire. This one's a little different. This is the... Uh, uh, bare copper. So let's see what that one does. And I'm just going to, yeah, see there's other cursive types of P's like this. This type of thing is a little more like kind of stylized as well. So there's many different ways that you can do it. And let me just take this one. Let me cut a little piece of this. Okay. And there's Jody. Hey. Jody says, I'm getting the chat, but no video. Oh, that's too bad. I find it a little buffery on my end as well, and I'm not quite sure why. 
Uh, maybe just, I think the internet is so overloaded these days, so it's really, uh, yeah, it's really hard to get it um, a good connection sometimes because everybody's on the internet. So yeah, for another idea for the P, so if you wanted to just like kind of go around here and then make it more stylized, you could do that. And this wire is quite um, soft, so it works quite well. And then this, sometimes it's even, it's even like can be more loose if you don't even use your pliers. So there we go. So um, Mary Santini, post a P, a piece. Hmm, this, I'm gonna do it just a P like this, just a plain P. So this is another way that you can do it. And you're gonna to have to play around with, you know, sort of the the tension and, and that type of thing that you're doing. Like, it's really about just playing around with it and it just takes a bit of practice. This one's getting a little warped out of shape, but, uh, but the hard part, of course, is just connecting, connecting the letters together. So, so like for the P, you could just like loop it around, but then how are you gonna do the rest? This is almost turning into an R. Like this this looks like like it's a little bit of an R. So we could just turn that into R an R. I just think it takes lots of practice, right? It just takes a lot of practice. Um her message above that post a P went with Heather. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, I keep breaking up start. Yeah. Yeah, I think there might be a little connection. Peggy says, I have three spools of 20 gauge copper wires. So yeah, the 20 gauge is great for this. It works out really, really well. So what can I write with R? Is there a name? Is somebody in the group name starting with R? I could do something with that, but that looks pretty. I like I like when it looks more loose. It's kind of cool. And uh, And then, but maybe you guys can tell me another word that I could do out of wire. Rhonda. Oh, Rhonda. There we go. <laughs> okay, Rhonda. That works. I just hope I don't run out of wire, but let's try. Let's just try and see. I might have to like do the R big and do the other letters small. So for Rhonda, we would take the H. I'm, I'm think I'm really going to run out of wire, but let's just do the H a little smaller. And so for the H, it's basically like an L and then you bend that back on itself. And then we're gonna form the H. So there's the H. We might make these letters all different size, but it'll give you an idea. So there's the H, and then we're going to do the O. So we're gonna bring this across, okay? And then we'll do an O. So the O is just pretty simple. We'll just do an O. Now for the N, you could either continue it like a cursive N, but I'll show you the way that I do Ns. So I would just do it the O like that. And then how I do the N is I bring this up here. Uh, Peggy says I used 18 gauge wire to put as a nose piece in the mask. Okay, hit it with the swim machine. Oh no, and it broke out. Oh, that, oh, that really sucks. It's like uh, sewing over a needle or a pin. I remember doing that and breaking my needle all the time. So now for the N, instead of like, to, you know how it just to differentiate that it looks like a little N? I just do a little loop here. I don't know why I started doing that, but it just seems to work pretty well. But then you pull it tight. So there's really not much there at all. It's just like a little tiny loop, like smaller than the end of your pliers. And then I go like that and then it looks like an N like that. And then I'm going to bring this across and bring it across here. And then you do your D. So I think I'll have enough wire. They're just the letters are gonna be a little bit small. So for the D, we just make a circle, circle here, and then bring this up here. So that's for the D. Uh, I think Heather's booted me for being AWOL. I definitely did, did not. Uh, what did you say, rebooted the phone? Checked. So you can't you can't get on the video, um, Jody. That's really weird. I, I wonder what's going on. That's very strange. I do not understand that. You'll have to watch the replay, I guess. But it's nice to hear from you. I hope things are going well at your at your work. Hope things aren't too too crazy. So there's coming along, Rhonda. 
Um, Amber says, oh, so you can still sew, Peggy. Yay. Yeah, yeah, that's, uh, making those masks is great. I actually just washed some fabric to make some, and uh, it's just I've had so many projects that I haven't had time to get around to it. And I did put a word out on Facebook that I could make the little metal wires if anybody needs them. I know a lot of local places are doing the masks as well. So here's the A, and we're going to bring that out here. And then if you're to hang it on a pendant, what you could do is make you do a loop here. So you can just do a little loop right here and either like if you want it more actually more solid, probably would be better like bring the loop to the front. OK, we'll bring it to the front here and I'm just going to fiddle around with it a little bit more. Make sure my hands stay on screen. So bring it around here to the front. And then you want to just end that off. Okay, so we're going to end that one off and bring this here to finish it off. We're going to bring this around to the front. Uh, Peggy says, I'm not very good at sewing, so just doing it for family. Yeah, yeah, it's, uh, and they take a long time that the mask patterns are pretty complex because I know they're asking uh, to leave the inside open that you could put a filter in. So it's not just a matter of just like having one piece of fabric. You really, um, I know the, the ones around here have pretty uh, strict like sort of guidelines on how to make it. So this looks really good, guys. Rhonda, your name looks awesome. So now, and then if you want to do, have a loop on the other end for a, a another uh, like side of the chain, it's good to do like a heart there. So Jody, I think, is Jody heading off? I'll try later. Oh, that's too bad, Jody. So yeah, we'll we'll talk to you later, and we'll see you in the Facebook group for for sure. So here we're gonna. So we have somewhere way to hang it. We'll do a heart on the other end. So let's just do a little heart. Hopefully, I have enough wire for that. And the idea is the top of the heart should be at the same height as the the R in the Rhonda. So we're gonna bring that down. And like I said, hopefully I have enough wire. And then we're going to bring this around here. So Lori says, question two, how many may I ask in one setting? Uh, Heather, have you written the book on the alphabet by any chance? If so, where can I buy one? I don't have a book about the alphabet, but I'm sure there are a lot of uh, places online that do have either tutorials, patterns, and uh, or books. Um, I'm sure you could find something on Amazon or if you searched on Google or you can just print out some templates there are you know there seems to be people that have templates for them as well so here's the H and then you want this to be solid too so we're just going to finish it off so I'll just bring it around here and you can give it one solid turn around and then after we'll try it, maybe I'll try it with a thicker wire to show you guys how you can do it like a decoration type of thing. So here's this one. Is Rhonda still there? Oh, there she is. Yeah. Okay, Rhonda, beautiful job. It looks good, eh, Rhonda? So Rhonda, have you ever made wire uh, names before? It looks pretty awesome. I'm happy with that. That's fantastic. So, uh, so guys, I'm going to make another name, but with a thicker wire. So whose name should I do in wire? First person to comment, I'll do their name in wire. So hopefully it's not a long name. Someone with a short name comment. <laughs> the heart is cute, eh? Mine. Rainy. Okay, good. Okay. So so we have, okay, I've got, uh, we'll do Rainy and Judy. Okay, so those are two different names. I don't know how many else I'm going to have time for. So we'll do, do Rainy. And I'm going to have to go back in the comments after. So Rainy and Judy and I okay so let's just start with those two because we're gonna uh I don't have time to do everybody's name so let's try with the thicker wire I don't know how much I'm gonna need I'm gonna cut a couple of feet to be sure hopefully I'm gonna be able to do this without the wire getting in the way this is 1.5 millimeter aluminum wire and so, okay, so we already know how to do the R, so that's pretty easy. And then maybe I'll do a different, I'll do the R in a different way. How about that? I just know I have to find where I actually put that one. So I'm going to show you a different way to do the R that, um, it's a way that I usually do it when 
I um when I do my sorry I'm distracted here when I do my uh, cake toppers and stuff so the way I usually do an R is a little more stiff than that but I'm gonna just show you it's almost like printing the R here we'll make this a big a little bit different and um, it's a similar idea but it's not as stylized so if we just go in here and then bring this one back so bend it the key is to often like bending the wire back on itself and so we're going to actually you know what I'm gonna do Rainy because I've already done I'm gonna save that thicker wire for a shorter name I'm going to do it with some other wire that I have to show you the wire I usually use which is this aluminum wire. I'm going to do this instead because uh, your name's a little longer. I'll do Judy's name with the thicker wire because it's uh, um, it's a little shorter. And this one, I'm going to show you the difference between the aluminum. So this is the aluminum. And so what we're going to do, this is we're going to do Rainy's name. So we're going to bend it up. And you'll see that the aluminum bends a lot more like uh, at a right angle. So this would be like the exact way I would do a name when I personalize our cake toppers, our bicycles and stuff. And then if you need a bigger loop, you're gonna get the larger round pliers. We're gonna bring that in here, okay. And so this looks like a P. So if I did normally the P, I, the way I do the P is I go back on itself and over, but because it's the R, we're gonna bend it back to the back on itself. And then this one, more on an angle okay so there right away is your r it just looks like a a um printed like a hand printed r type of thing so then we're going to go across okay so there's our r and then if you have to adjust this side to be more even you can oh, my my daughter just walked in the room what do you need what's the password oh i'll get you a the password sorry she's trying to get on a zoom call with her with her friends <laughs> and uh, she needs a password so uh, she's going to come back so now we're going to do the a everybody's using zoom these days i actually set up a zoom call it's my sister's birthday on friday so i set up a zoom call for that did i thought you sent no no you, you go to google sign in with my google account oh that one. Oh, okay wait sorry guys i have to give her my password but I just have to find it in my notes. So this is the... Oh, don't really talk about it. Hmm? I'm going to find it. I have to find my password oh, wait. for this. Should be here somewhere. It's connected. Is it? Let me just find it here. Um, for Google, right? No, it's, it's good. I think, I, I think you're already signed in. Okay, Sorry she's good. That. Okay, so now let's get back to work. <laughs> so now we're gonna do, no idea how to Zoom. Oh, Zoom is great, it's like Skype. Uh, it's very user-friendly and it's really, it's pronounced rain but spelled rainy. Oh, okay, Am I, I'm missing some chat. So it's, it's rain. Rain is the pronunciation. I probably already knew that, sorry about that. So now we're going to make the Y. So here's, we've got the A and now we're gonna do the Y. So now we're going to bend this to the front. You see the, the way I do it with the aluminum wire, it's very um, much more stiff, much more sort of clean uh, letters. This is just the way I developed it to do uh, for, my, for the cake toppers. But I do like the, the way some of the more uh, cursive ones are done, the, the more loose ones are done. This is just, like I said, the way that I've decided to do it when I do the personalization. So there's a ray, okay? And then we're gonna go across here. And now we're gonna go up and do that same N like we did before. And then how I do the N is I just take this and do a little loop. Okay, we'll just do a little loop here. Okay, and then pull it tighter. That just gives a little bit of an impression of like a cursive end type of thing because I don't want to do like, you know, some cursive ends are like two, two uh, loops and it doesn't, I don't know, it doesn't look right in wires. So 
this is how I've decided to do the end, and it works pretty well. And then the E, we're gonna bring it here. Okay, we're gonna bring it up here. Okay, so that's the starting for the E. Bring it up, and then I'll do it the same way I usually do, which is just to, you can just do like an E that looks like a little L, but this way I'm gonna bring it over a bit and then bring that down here, okay? So this becomes the start of the E, okay? And so Amber says, I've never Zoomed before too. Yeah, Zoom is really fun, um, but I find there's a lot, there's like almost too much going on on the internet right now. Like I, I'm, I'm getting a little overwhelmed with all the people that are going on live streams and this and that, so I'm trying to like just do my regular routine and not do too much of it because you go a little crazy with, with all the stuff that's going on. I had joined a, this challenge on Facebook. It was like an entrepreneurial challenge and they had created a, a Facebook uh, group for it, but everybody was going live in the group and I found it so distracting. It was just a little bit too much. Yeah. So, I don't have anyone to Zoom with. Okay, yes. Well, I might do another Zoom call with, with, with uh, like I did before, with Lisa and Marisa and Ruth. We all had a Zoom call um, about a, almost a month ago now where I was troubleshooting some designs. And it was so cool because I actually got to see some people from the group uh, live, which was really cool. So, I mean, if that's something that interests you guys, let me know because I might do it again. So here we go. Here's uh, here's rain right here. So it looks pretty good. It's it's like I said, it's a lot stiffer than the other ones. And then what I would do is because, uh, like I said, this one I wouldn't necessarily hang on a um, on a uh, a necklace. But I'm gonna grab something and I'll show you what I would usually do with that. I just have to find it. So normally what I would do with that is we make these cake toppers. So here's one. My husband makes the bike and, and the little figure, and then I would add the hair or the veil. So what I would normally do with this is if I was doing a personalized one with somebody's name, um, I, would put, uh, I would put the name in here. So I would take the name and I would attach it in the bike. It's cool, eh? Yeah, yeah. He's been making these bikes for like... 35, almost 40 years. He was selling them on the street when we met and I was making other kinds of jewelry. And then when we met, um, of course we got together and then I uh, started making wire stuff. So it was thanks to him that I started. Yeah, I wouldn't know where to start with the bike. I've made them myself, but usually he makes the bikes and then I do other, other kinds of cake toppers. And the bicycle is all made with one piece of wire. So uh, Aranza says, we have one at home. I made one for your daughter. Yes, yeah, no, because I do some local craft shows and stuff too, and I've definitely made some for people uh, here as well. So, so then, yeah, we just put it in here, and then that becomes. So this is very typical of what we do, of what we sell on Etsy. So it's cool, eh? Yeah, yeah. So that's that, and then let's do Judy's name. So I'm going to take the thicker wire for that because that's a nice short name. And we're just going to get, I'm going to look at the cursive alphabet again just to have an idea for the J, uh, just to have a starting point. So let me go back. Cursive J name wire. Let's see if I can see. Yeah, there's, so there's quite a few, you know, ideas if you look up J. Like this seems to be the simplest one, just like that. I think that's probably the simplest one. And um, okay, I think I'm gonna do something like that. So let's just see. Okay, Debbie, I was there's Debbie. I was showing the I was showing your name earlier, but now I've it's somewhere on my table. It's uh it's going. To, I'm gonna actually ship it out to the mail in the mail pretty soon for for you as well. So let's do Judy. And let's take this and bring this around. I'm just trying to think of the best way to do it. Uh, okay, so I'm going to try it like this. So if we do this, okay, and then, because it, it's always the, the tricky part is to know how to 
twist your wire. So if I want to have one wire going that way, I'm going to try it like that. I don't know if this is going to work or not like that. And then this one will bring it here around, maybe around here. Yeah, I think there's many different ways you can do the J. Okay. It's usually I do it just like it looks like almost a printed J, but I want this to be a little more stylized. So we're going to see, I think this should have been a little higher though. So we're going to bring that up here. Yeah, it's a lot of trial and error. And like I said, I have the style of lettering that I usually do, but I think it's fun to experiment and try some different things. And then the wire can get a little kinked up. So you just have to be careful and bring that around here. Okay, yeah, it is a little kinked up, but that's okay, we can fix that. And then we're just gonna do the U. Okay, let me just, see. I'm just gonna check this again to see. That's the hardest part, is knowing how to connect the letters. And that's something that you can definitely look online and look for examples of how it's done. And, um, and or even just write your name out by hand and see, uh, and see how it looks because uh, sometimes it's a good idea just to, just to play around with it and see. Okay, so let's try a U. I'm just gonna go up. And this wire is very thick. It's almost like too thick now, but I wanted just to try it to see. I probably should have actually even done it bigger than that just to, um, allow for the size of the wire, but we'll just, we'll just try it like this and see. I'm gonna bring this around here. And then the D, the D is pretty easy. The D is basically just a loop, okay? Just a loop, and it's the same way you would do an A. So you, you do the loop, you bring it up, okay? So you bring it up like that, and then bring it down like this is sort of like could be the L is a little similar to that too. So we're going to bring it here and bring it up. Okay. And so, oh, I'm missing a bunch of comments. So uh, da, da, will us beginners have a chance against the sellers with the earring challenge? <laughs> well, when I say sellers, I don't mean necessarily it's, it's a challenge for sellers. What I mean is it's uh, it's a uh, designs for earrings that would be good items to sell. And as you know, Wendy, it's not a competition. We're definitely not in competition with each other. When I draw a prize winner, it is not at all based on the uh, quality of what people are doing or anything like that. It's just um, I put a random names in a draw at the end of the challenge and uh, as long as you've done all of the challenges you're eligible to win the prize. So it's definitely not a competition whatsoever and um, it's just a, it's just another approach to doing a challenge like to have that in mind that if there are people that are selling jewelry, especially at this time when it's very, very difficult for people, uh, especially I think most craft shows have been canceled for the summer, which is very sad. And uh, so if people are selling online, this might give them ideas for different designs they can sell or, you know, locally on Marketplace or anything like that. So, so here's Judy. So that's kind of cool. And then what you can do if you want to make it fancy, you can always like do little spirals or something. Your Lori, oh, thank you so much. Well, it's it's a little bit easy for me in a sense that I've been doing it for so long, but these letters I have to admit they are tricky. It's hard to get them to look like really smooth and um and uh, like I said, I tend to be a little more stiff with the things that I do. So this is a good challenge for me to loosen up a little bit, uh, which is sort of my goal of trying some of these more stylized letters is just to loosen up a bit because I find that's where I have trouble is creating designs that are very loose. Like I tend, my work tends to be very tight and I know that about myself and, and I try to improve it. Uh, but sometimes, you know, we have things about our style or our habits 
that are hard to change. So that's that's sort of my goal. Actually, my, my goal is to, to be able to paint as loosely as I did when I was a kid because uh, I also paint and I love painting. But I find sometimes it's very hard to, you know, be really free and loose with, with the paint sometimes. So that's why I like to try a lot of abstract painting. So this is cool. It's a little more stylized and you can bend it around to, uh, Wendy says mine is, is stiff too. Oh, yours were, were beautiful though, Wendy. I really loved your lettering. I just, uh, yeah, I think we all have our own, our own style, right? Debbie says we can do our town and state. Um, do you mean in wire or do you mean the craft shows? I'm not quite sure. I can't paint. Yeah, well, painting is another thing that just takes practice. And I actually teach painting and I teach a lot of adult beginners who have even never painted before. So I always do a lot of like uh, exercises in abstract uh, painting and just basically teaching the techniques for uh, different um different techniques on how to uh, paint like there's different tricks with watercolor like if you if you paint with watercolor and you like add little drops of alcohol or salts or different things you get all kinds of really cool um really cool textures yes wire dalton well yeah the, i mean you could definitely do the names of your states the other thing i've done for cake toppers is um outlines of the states like i did the ohio let me just see, do an M. Okay, I can do an M. And let me just look, I'm going to check my Etsy shop to show you guys what I mean that I've done different states out of wire. I'll just try to find it. I did, oh, I think the first one I ever did was Ohio. And it was super fun and I haven't, oh, here they are. So, so these are, this is my Etsy shop. So these are like the different states I've done out of wire, which is a really, you know, it's really fun. So I'll show you this one, just the picture of it. Wait, can I just see that picture? There we go. So here it is. So this is like the outline of the state. And then I put the people's names in the middle. And I even did Iceland out of, out of wire too, which was really super cool. I don't know if I can find that one. I think that one might have expired. Let me just say uh, listings. So I'm going to look up Iceland. It was really cool. Iceland. Iceland search might have expired. Uh, oh, that's weird. It didn't come up. You don't have any active listings. So draft, maybe. No, there it is. Okay, so this is Iceland. Okay. There we go. So that was Iceland. So that one's pretty detailed. Hello, Heather and all from Sweden. Awesome. How are you? Uh, what about a K? So we have M's and K's. Okay, we didn't do an M yet, eh? Okay, so the end the K. And then some other people asked earlier, but I've lost track. So I'll do what I can. And let's try an M. So just for the M, I guess it just it depends on on how stylized that you want it. So I really shouldn't start so close to the end. So let me just start here. I'm just gonna start here so I'm not so close to the end. So there's a couple of ways you can do the M. You can, if you want to, like the way I do it on Etsy is I just or bend this back on itself. But if you want it more stylized, you can definitely like do a more stylized M. So let's just see if we can find an M, a way to do the M, okay. Um, I don't know, This I'm just playing with this. I, this is maybe not gonna work because it's not the way I usually do the M because I think this is not gonna work as well. Yeah, I'm not loving this. So I'm just gonna have a look and see some cursive M's. If I type cursive. Just Google search it, cursive M wire, and see if it works. You have to find the right surf search term. So yeah, there's all kinds of, like here's here's one that's cute. Like if you just look through, you could find like different ideas for, for the M's and, or if you just look up cursive M, you can definitely do that. So images, oh yeah, like there's some, yeah, this one I like actually, that one I like like that. So let's try something like that. 
So it would be more, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. I'll show you the other way I do the M. So if we just go here, okay. The other way that I do the M is I just bend it back on itself, which I find a little bit easier. Okay, we're gonna bring that here. Oh, I'm missing all kinds of comments here. <laughs> Congratulations to you and your son. So I think I missed something there. Uh, another son just made, oh, okay, in the Navy. Oh, that's so cool, awesome, amazing. Yeah, let's just bring this one back here. And we're gonna do the M like that. So this is another, this would be the, the way that I would do the M's uh, when I personalize something. So that's, that's kind of cool. But I'm sure there's, yeah, I'm sure there's many other ways that you can do M's. Let's see if we do, I'm just trying to think of a good way to do it. Mm, yeah, I'm not quite sure what I want to do with that. I think what we'll have to, you'd have to just start again to see different ways. I think it's just all about experimenting and uh, just to see what you can, what you can come up with. I'm just going to check if I have, uh, I think it's good to draw it first. I think it's a really good idea just to draw it out and see. So let me just get some of this, okay? And you can just, yeah, this, I mean, that's sort of the basic M that I would do. And then to, to experiment with some other, oops, where'd it go? Yeah, here's the ones that, here's the ones that I did here. Yeah, so they're right there. And then if you want to play around with other ideas, like, so you want to make it more loopy, can do like like that like a little it's pretty well the same thing and I think it's just a matter of just just checking it out what was the other letter we were going to do I've, I've already forgotten what other letter we we're gonna do let me see K K was that it K yeah I think K is K could be a good one too so I think that would be the best thing you just like experiment with it and see, I know for the K, what I usually do is I would just like kind of go like that, upon, like just bend it back on itself. And then if you want it more stylized, you can maybe go like that. That might work. So let's, let's try a K and see how it works. Because that's the key, eh? It's just to kind of bend the wire on itself when you need uh, when you need a cleaner line. So I'm gonna just try a K, just bring that around here. You wanna start with the top, okay? And then just bring that around here. Either bend it back on itself or make a loop. Like say you're doing like a, a small letter K, you could bring that up here and then just make like a little loop. Depends on how stylized you want it like say bring it up like that and then maybe just bend it back on itself to bring it down here so like that would be like a really stylized kind of k and sometimes the stylized ones it's very hard to tell what they are and then if i'm going to do another one that's like a more cleaner one okay so we can just go here and bring that here, bring that down, and then just, I would bend it back on itself, okay? See like that, bend it back on itself, and bring it up here. And if you want it capital, you're gonna have to make this part a little bit longer. So let's just bring that here, bring that here. Bend that up. And bring that up. Yeah, it definitely takes practice. I would advise just like, like I said, drawing it out first, playing around with it, trying different styles, uh, see what works best. The artistic uh, copper wire seems to work quite well. The 20 gauge, it's really good. So that's cool. Ralph says, hello from Sweden. Another one from Sweden, awesome. Okay. Write it and trace it. Yep, you could definitely write it and trace it. That's a great idea too. Yeah, why don't we try it that way? Why don't we try to trace one and see how it goes? So here's, yeah, so here's another K. 
that you can do it that way. And so say we're going to go like to do another letter after. Like if you want to do, what letter haven't we? Well, we could do like the A again. So if you do an A, then you're going to go into here. And then the A, you bend it back on itself. So, so that would be sort of the idea like that. And then you could do, you know, go on from there. So yeah, so if we're going to, if we're going to trace a letter, so what letter should we do now? Uh, let me just look at the alphabet to see which one's inspiring. And we can draw a letter. W's kind of cool. S, R we've done. Q's a little tricky. Yeah, Q would definitely be tricky. And or D, maybe D, we can just see. So did you make an M yet? Yes, we made an M. We made M here. So let me just see like the different ways you can do letters. Let's just draw some out and see which ones look good. So if we're gonna do this, and we can do like D is sort of like that, right? That's that's interesting. But then the the question would be, how would you finish it off? Like you can you can bend this back. The trouble is you want it to be solid, so that's that's the tricky part. But say you brought that up, and then you wanted just to have like a little extra bit there. So you could maybe bring that back on itself and down. That's the tricky part is to try to, I like the D though, I think it's cool. And then you could just go around here and then maybe what you could do is just go here. I think that's what I was, that's what I did with the Debbie. I think I just brought that down. Oh, I already did a D, that's right, with the Debbie. So, so let's do another letter. Um, maybe the T. T is cute too. So if we do like a T and just like that, or the F is tricky, you'd have to do something like that. So that would be interesting. We can definitely do like an F or something like that. Fs are, Fs are really hard. Fs are really hard. So let, why don't we try to trace the F and see. Okay, so I'll get some wire. Okay. There we go. Oh, bye Maya, how are, Mia, how are you? We'll talk to you later. Okay, bring it down and across, yeah. And a G, the G, actually G would be a good one too because G's a little tricky as well. But it's hard to get a stylized, like a really nice stylized G because sometimes G's are like, kind of like, almost like a, um, how do you say, almost like a, the J. It's really hard to differentiate. So, cause I mean, usually when I do them, like I do like this, like I literally like just kind of do a regular kind of G like that. That's how I usually do it. But if I was to make that more stylized, that's the question. How would you make it more stylized? So maybe, cause you want it. Yeah, it's very, very tricky to get it. Or maybe like that even, but you don't want it to look like a C either. So maybe like that and like that might be interesting. Yeah. Yeah, I should really work on the alphabets more. I find it I find it an interesting challenge and uh, because it's really hard to get it look looking really perfect. But let's just do here. I'm going to do another F but not so big. Okay, and we're going to go like that and like that type of thing. I think that's going to be good. So yeah, if you were going to trace it, you can, um, I guess you would just like bring it down and then trace it around, although it's very tricky. Sometimes I find it easier to do by eye, but you could definitely, you know, try that where you take your, your wire and you trace it. Definitely an interesting challenge. There are some jig designs for letters. Like I know I've done the word love with the jig, with the artistic wire jig. So that's definitely a possibility. And then let me just bring this up here. I think you can just start it with the jig and then just remove, like start it with the drawing and then just, just remove it and then go from there. So G, J and Q look alike. Yeah, that's the problem. Like a lot of them look alike. So how to differentiate them, that's like really, really tricky. And I think it's just with practice, but say I'm doing the F here if you need your bend to be a little more straight, like a little more um, on an angle, just take your flat pliers and go like that 
and that tends to help it get a little more, see I've made it more pointy already. So that tends to be, you know, makes it a little better. And then what we can do is just bring this, I don't know if we need to bend this down a little bit, but I might bend it down a little bit to make it look a little more F-like. And then we're gonna bring this back up, okay? And then this way, okay, if we do it like that. And then you could bring it down and then you can bring it across and start your name like that. Do we have anyone here that name starts with F? Is there a Frank? <laughs> because I could always continue this to do a name that starts with F, although I might run out of wire. So here's like there. So that's like sort of a F. Like that's normally how we do an F, something like that. And so Fox, well, I could do Fox, why not? That's at least three letters. I should have enough wire for that. So if we did the Fox, then we would take the, the O, and the O is super easy, right? I think that's like the easiest letter we have. So there we go, F-O. And then for the X, let me remember how I did the X. The X, I believe I just went like up. I don't know how far along I have to do it. I think about here. So I, for the X, I go up and then bend this to the back. Okay, we're gonna bend that to the back here. And then bend this one up. Okay. And then we wanna bend that one to the front. So we're gonna take that and bend it to the front. Whoops, I don't think I made it long enough. So I'm gonna bring it back a little bit more. Okay, and bend that to the front. Okay, so it's looking like an X. This reminds me of when I do the hashtag sign out of uh, out of wire. That's really fun. Actually, I should do that to show you guys because that's fun. Actually, those make really cute earrings. If you know people that are really into like the internet and hashtags, it's really cute. So here's Fox. That's pretty good. And uh, so then from there, you could you can do um, you know you could do anything that you want to finish it off. Like say up here, you would want to do a loop, right? So you could actually do your loop at the top to make the, to hang a jump ring from for a pendant. So say we just do make a little loop here because it's all, that's the other trick is to know how to finish it off so that you can hang it up. So if we do that, we're just going to do the loop and then we can, fin we can finish uh, this part with something else. So if we want to bring it, let's see how we can do that. Mm, I just want to differentiate it from the word. So if we just, I mean, if I had enough wire, I could even make a fox, which would be super, super cute, which would be, yeah, it would be really interesting. So I don't know, we can just do like a little spiral or something, or you could put a bead, uh, could do a, that looks like a balloon. Maybe we could do like, a birthday balloon, there we go. Okay, so let's do a birthday balloon just for fun. So for somebody that likes foxes and balloons, so we're just gonna bring that, if we bring that up here, and then I'm gonna bring this around, okay. And I've done balloons a bit like this before. If we go like this, and then for the balloon, you could just leave it, like cut it there, or, this is the coolest thing ever watching you. Oh, thanks, Debbie, that's so fun. This is called uh, Heather sometimes succeeds and sometimes doesn't with these with these designs because sometimes it works well and sometimes it doesn't, but we always learn something. So that's a cool thing. The longest word you can type with, uh, type with you L hand is steward stewardesses. Hmm, I'm not sure what that means, but. There we go. So here's our fox with a birthday balloon. So that's different. And now I'm gonna show you guys how to do a hashtag. Don't you love to see her think out loud? <laughs> yes. Yeah, that's so uh, you kind of see my thought process with, with which is cool and how you jump from like one thing to another. 
which is super fun too. So for the hashtag, I actually like to know, I like to um, use the aluminum because it, it bends on a nice right angle. So let me show you how to do that. And then we're gonna, sh I'll show everybody what we did today and you guys can give me some feedback. So for the hashtag, what I do is I start here, this is gonna be an earring, and then I would bend, let me remember how I do this. I'm gonna bend this to the back. Okay, bend the wire to the back. And then I'm going to bend this down. Okay. And then bend this one here. Do you guys know people that are like really into like the internet, influencer marketing, uh, Twitter, any of that stuff? These would be great gifts for them. So we're gonna bring this up here and then imagine like how much space you need there and then another one of those here. So imagine how much, how big that has to be. I guess eventually you could um, do a drawing or something of it. My feedback, you're brilliant. Oh, that's so sweet, Wendy, thank you so much. So we're gonna bring this down here. I just I just have so much fun and as an artist, I'm always so inspired what everybody is doing and uh, it's just it's just a great community. So now this I've had bent to the back and now I'm gonna bend it to the back again. So we're gonna take this and bend it to the back again. So already you see that the hashtag is coming and this one also gonna bend it to back again. So imagine how much base you need here for the other line and then also with that much more up top so there and then another bit up here and then we're going to bend it to the back again so we're going to bend it to the back again I also do one that's an at sign which is super cool so like the pair of earrings would be the hashtag and the at sign and uh, I don't know if all of you know what the hashtag and the at sign are uh, if you're on the internet for any amount of time, you would you would know, but uh, some people don't know what it is. But the hashtag is uh, just when you write, you type a hashtag and you type the word after the hashtag, you can actually search the internet for things having to do with that with that uh, word. They call it a tag, and um, so that's why people use the hashtag. So it's coming. It's I guess in the old school they'd call it a pound key, right, on the telephone. So this is the pound key and somehow it became a thing on the internet to use this for as a search button. So uh, your great niece Taylor, is she an influencer or uh, into Twitter? You, maybe you could make her some, uh, some hashtag earrings. So there we have like the hashtag and then what you are gonna do, let me just bring that over a little more. So then you need to finish it, right? You need to have it like to be able to hang from an earring, so let me just bring that down a little bit. So what you would do is take your flat pliers and hold it here and wrap this one around. Okay, so you have to finish off an end. So we're gonna wrap that end here and then we have to make a loop. I can watch you all day long. Oh, that's awesome. Yes, Christmas gifts, definitely. You get started now and you'll have everything you need for Christmas. So. There's the hashtag, and then what you wanna do is just bend that to the left, bring this one around, okay? And then what I like to do is I like to actually loop this, and then I catch that loop underneath so it won't slip. So I've, I've looped around that, that one and below that one, and then that makes it more solid because when I make jewelry, especially the ones I wanna, that I sell on Etsy, I like them to be extremely solid so they're not gonna come apart. So that's, there's the hashtag. This got a little warbly here, so let me just fix that up a little bit, okay? And just, you can touch it up at the end. So that's the hashtag, and now I'll show you the at sign, as long as I can remember how I did it, and then we'll be good for today. So for the at sign, we're gonna get another wire, and Laura said, can't wait to rewatch. Awesome. That's go. Oh, well, thanks for watching. Yeah, this one, we're going a little bit over time here, but I'll just, I want to, I'm going to cut a bigger piece of wire because I don't want to run out of wire. I want to just do the at sign to match the hashtag. So let me remember how I did it. I'll just bring this around because it has to be like the A. It's basically, yeah, the at sign, right? So we're going to, let me just remember how I did that. I'm going to bring that down here. 
Okay. And that's right. So I did it like this. So I make like a little loop for the A. Okay. And then this one, I'm going to bring over top. Okay. The hashtag symbol makes you think about waffles. <laughs> that's funny. Yeah, it does kind of look like a waffle. So here's the A. And then we're going to bring this one around here. And so this one has to come around. Hopefully I'm not going to run out of wire. This one's going to be a little bigger than planned, but the idea would be to take any. Okay. Let's see if I'm back. Okay, guys. I think we might be frozen. Am I back? Let me know. If, let me know if I'm back and uh, frozen here too. Let me just see what's going on. It's probably because we have two Zoom calls going on or a Zoom and a YouTube at the same time. Back, yay! Okay, so here we go. Yeah, I'm gonna have to be a little more strategic with this. I'm back. Awesome, okay, so let's just finish the top with a loop and then we've got our at sign and hashtag and I will very quickly before we freeze again, show you guys what we made today so back yay so here's these will be earrings it's the at sign and the hashtag which are super cool what else do we make we made fox with a birthday balloon we made some m's we made a k we made a another k a little k and we made Rhonda. And we made Peggy and Judy. So guys, we made a lot of stuff. Let me bring the camera a little closer. There we go. So, oops, orientation. Oops, wait, wait. Are we good, are we good? Okay, I think we're good. So here's, here's all the stuff we made. So let me know uh, which one you like. What was your favorite? And uh, that was super fun. I like the way the Rhonda worked out. The R, that was fun. And um, the Fox was fun. And the hashtag and the, uh, and the at sign. So I'll flip the screen around so I can say goodbye to you guys. There we go. We'll bring that around. Perfect. So yeah, so thanks. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching. That was super fun. You like the at sign. Awesome. So maybe what I'll do is I will do a tutorial for those. Uh, so it'll be really clear if people want to make them because uh, they would be great gifts for uh, for people that are into the internet and stuff. So that would be really fun. And so I'm going to put a poll in the Facebook group about um, when people want to start the next challenge. So I'll get that set up and see when everybody wants to start the challenge. That'll be fun. I'll keep posting prompts every day. And so for the prompts, uh, you can, if you don't have any wire left and can't create something out of wire, create something fun like mixed media or painting or anything you like. But just if you do something that's not wire, post it as a comment in the prompt post. And if you make something out of wire, um, post it in the in the Facebook group. And um, yeah, so that's awesome. Thank you guys so much. Have a wonderful, wonderful week. Stay safe, stay healthy. Great to see everybody. If I missed your comment, I'm truly sorry. Never hesitate to DM me if you have any specific questions. You can email me at info at Heather Boyd Wire. Uh, uh, dot com or you could dm me on facebook yeah the next challenge will be earrings so that's uh, and uh, there's going to be a set of 10 videos uh with earring designs and i'll create a facebook group for that or a facebook event page for that so people can share their work and and i'll have a little draw at the end like i did the last time so take care everybody and we'll see you in the facebook group bye